got some hair going on, y'all. No, it's hard to be me. Hard to be me. Okay, I've got a lot to show y'all tonight. I'm so excited. And, you know, we can open these catalogs tonight. The mini catalog and the celebration. But I am just going to flip through here and let y'all see. Now, some of y'all have already received these catalogs. And um, I hope most of you that wanted them have them. We have um, card uh, kits. You can get, you know, everything you need in order to um, American Heritage Girls. Okay, good. Then I was right. Marilyn made butter beans and mashed potatoes and biscuits. I'm going to Marilyn's house, y'all. I love butter beans. You can't tell it by looking at me. <laughs> oh, I love mashed potatoes, too. And biscuits. So, you can order a kit, and everything is in there if it says all-inclusive, okay? That means you don't have to buy anything. It's got a little block. It's got some ink. It's got adhesives, blah, blah, blah. But then if you see project kit, you look over and see what else you might need. And this would need probably, let's see, I don't see a stamp set, so you wouldn't even need to, yeah, here's a stamp set. You'd probably need a block and adhesive, things like that. So just look at the names um, that kind of gives a little description of, of what is in your kits. Um, this is so exciting, y'all. I honestly had this right here. It's, it's where you, you know, it's a, it's a gift ribbon thing. But honestly, I had them right here so that we could be really festive. And I could not stand the noise in my ears. So we're not going to be that festive. But look, it's a party. Yay, celebration. I tried. I tried. Um, so if you enjoy cactus and um, those little, um, what are they called, y'all? Succulents. The little succulent plants. And it's got some sweet little um, um, sentiments there. This would be a great. A great kit and it's got you can get the whole set and you'll get the dies the stamps these cute little um they're kind of like felt but they're thick and I'm heading on over Marilyn <laughs> and then you get the um, paper that goes with it but there's also some die cuts so that will be fun Okay, the Love You Always, this is a beautiful set. Um, this black and white paper, I love this because I'm going to be ordering the um, this foil paper here. You see my little stars. The pink is what I already have, and the the just the stars are what I want. <laughs> so, um, But you can order just this paper here and color it with your alcohol markers or your Stampin' Right markers, or you can order the whole thing, whatever you want to do. These are the stamps and some more examples of the cards. And, oh, there's Cricket. Hey, I was thinking you were gone tonight. I told everybody you were at American Heritage Girls. Um, here's a little uh, thing to send to your best girlfriend. Happy Galentine's Day. You go, girl. Sealed with a kiss, that kind of thing. If I'm going too fast, y'all just slow me down. Well, hello, Dana from Buffalo, New York. Welcome. We have a lot of fun over here, Dana. You never know what you're going to get. I'll tell you the truth. You never know. <laughs> I'm in Georgia, uh, Dana. I am in Newnan, Georgia, and um, lived in Georgia my whole life. I know you can't tell by my accent. <laughs> okay, so... Um, this is a cute, cute, cute set right here. Sweet little Valentine cards and more. And they're $10, and you can make 10 cards. I mean, it's just stinking adorable. Kangaroo over here with the dies. Am I going too fast? Okay, um, Kangaroo and Company bundle. And, oh, Hydrangea Hill. Would y'all just look at how pretty this is? Can't we just talk about how pretty this is? Look at that. See, I don't have all of this. And we've got this, this gorgeous paper here. It is mercury glass, and it's an acetate, but it look, it's got this really cool, grungy, vintage feel to it. Very and, Or elegant, however you choose to use it. This wrapped bouquet. I did order it. That's why my little star is colored in, but it hadn't come yet. 
I'm just flipping through. We got a cute little bunny and a lamb and a chick for Easter. A little basket with eggs in it. Okay, so um, this right here is very... Um, it resembles very much one that we had before, and I actually featured a card on it uh, with it the other day um, where I used the gold flakes on it. So that's that's kind of neat. If you're new to my channel, I do have a YouTube channel, and it's Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed, just like it is right here. And I know that lamb is adorable, isn't it, Cricket? Just adorable. I love I love her little flowers in her hair and the bunny, too. Um, but yeah, if, if you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and usually all of these videos that I do on Facebook, I edit them and then put them on YouTube. And sometimes, as in earlier this week, I edited, or last week, I edited, threw it on, and guess what? I did the unedited version. So I had to delete that and put on the good one. But anyway, okay, so let's see. We have Dandy Garden, and this one is uh, featuring some ladybug, um, these little ladybug doodly-doos. Trinkets is what it's called. And I love the colors in this because it's just, it's so gardenish. You know, hello, garden. Yep, dandy garden right there. And um, dragonflies and it's got stamp set and the dies and another stamp set and these dies. And um, right here is a lazy, laser cut paper and this is the uh, Memories and More card pack. Now, if you're new to Stampin' Up! or if you're new to card making, always when you see a Memories and More card pack, that's a great way to get started because you can just make a card with them. You really can. Or scrapbook, whatever you want to do. So this is more of the Dandy uh, Garden. And let's see. Uh, one thing I want to tell y'all, if y'all have this catalog or if you use the one online, and, and if you need a link to that, just um, let me know and I'll send it to you. Send me a private message and I can send you a link because this catalog, these catalogs were just um, open today. I mean, this is the first day we can share them. So um, I go through it time and time again and I, and I keep coming up with things that I missed the first four or five times looking at it. And as a demonstrator, I get to see this, you know, a good month, month and a half probably before um, my customers do. But that's so that I can, you know, make stuff and play with some stuff, things like that. Here are some cute little borders. And you can use these on your cards or on your scrapbooks, whatever you want to do. Um, here's some very pretty dies here that go with pretty perennials. And whenever you see these two together, then you're going to save 10% and you'll get a bundle. And after this catalog, if it carries over, you won't get the bundle price. So if you see something you love and you need in order to live a normal life, then you need to go ahead and get it. All right, this is Fine Art Floral. You'll see a lot of people using the heat and, uh, heat and stick powder with the... Um, gold leaf the gilded leafing embellishment here and they are a lot of people are using it on this because that's how it was shared uh with us during what i call convention but it was called on stage and we had to do it by zoom this year go figure but see you don't even need a mask when you come over here you don't there's angela hey there i love that big floral background stamp yes it, and it's gorgeous and here's the art gallery stamp set and okay, okay, now this is very important. If you're just starting out or if you've been stamping for a long time, this is the set to get, all right? It's a bundle and it's 5025, which would um, make you eligible for a free item from Celebration. Here it is, Oop. Celebration, which we'll look at that in a minute. What it is, this is Messages Die, and this is the Mini Messages Stamp. It's one big stamp, okay? You stamp it, and you put the die over it, run it through your Big Shot, or... Well, I always say Big Shot, y'all, because I've been saying it for, what, 20 years? But it's the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. And our friend over in Australia, well, she's not really my friend, but I love her to death... Um, Kylie Bertucci, she calls it a skim, S-C-E-M, and because she calls it that, it's easy for me to remember. 
But if you look right here, this is one big stamp, and this is the die, and you just stamp it, lay the die down, run it through, and you've got all of these little sentiments. Um, if you're into medallions, here you go. You can color these. Um, we've got a pick a punch here, which is, it's got like a little medallion end on it. And then a little pointy end here. You can get that as a bundle. And anytime you see a punch with a stamp set, just call it the boss. Yes, yes, that's what I should call it, the boss. And y'all know, today you can order the baby boss. Yay! The mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. It is the cutest thing. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest little thing? And I know some of you have seen this, but if you hadn't seen it, I had to write this on here because that's how my brain works or doesn't work. And what it is, the three and a half up here, there we go. <laughs> that's the size of the opening here. And this right, oh, <laughs> there we go. This right here tells me which plates to use to emboss, which plates to use to 3D emboss, and which plates to use for die cut. You do need that many. And here's the thing. If you order this, then you will be eligible for a free celebration item. Yay! Okay, so we have that. We have Tranquil Thoughts here. This is a beautiful set. If you look, it gives you a corner of your card is gonna be die cut like that. How pretty. Okay, and then the um, Circle Celebration. That's, uh, uh, y'all, I didn't even read it. Circle Celebration. Um, this one has all kinds of little, little doodly doos in there. Now, I'm not a big fan of circles, I'll tell you the truth. But how awesome is it that you can just, if you love circles, look how easy this would be to just do. Love it. And you would punch them out with your um, circle punch. Your, uh, let's see, one and a half and your two inch and the layering circles dies. So all of those will just punch these right out. Simply succulents right here. Potted succulents right here. You can get them together, um, the die cut with the stamp set as a bundle. Again, 10% off. And that bundle, most of our bundles that have dies will make you eligible for a free celebration product. Oh, and by the way, I've had several orders, and I thank you all. Those of you who have ordered with me, thank you, thank you. I need your business. All right, Sand and Sea. This is a beautiful set right here. Love circles, but don't like hearts. We are kind of opposite there. We really are. Hearts are my thing. This is beautiful, y'all. This is the first time that they have had an embossing folder that matches the dies. Okay? And if you go online and put in Stampin' Up! Sand and Sea, you are going to see some amazing things that people have done with this set. It's crazy. The paper's beautiful. It's all kind of coastal. Got a coastal vibe to it. Love it. Here we go with Friends Are Like Seashell and then the the bundle here with the die. Okay, flamingos. Everybody loves a good flamingo. Love, love, love the seashells. Yes, you do. They are gorgeous. They are so pretty. And you can kind of make them look, I mean, you don't have to use these colors. You know, you can make it look more seaside natural. I don't like the beach cricket. <laughs> I like a lake or pond. There you go. Okay. Cricket prefers alligators to sharks. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Well, at least with alligators, you can see them coming. Uh, flamingo. And here we go with the strawberry builder punch. I've actually got that tonight. We're going to make a card um, using the some of these items from the strawberry set. You're going to see this. Matter of fact, I'll show you now. Very similar. This is my little box that I made. I made my strawberries dimensional simply by stamping and punching a bunch. Yeah, flamingos are amazing, and you can color them pink and have a lot of fun with it. I do like flamingos. So I punched a bunch of them out. As you can see, like it's flat there, all you do is put glue on one side and put you another one down like that and another one and you end up with one tooth. I don't know how many I use, probably three. And then just 
punched out the leaves. I stamped this on the background and I used uh, what ribbon I had. There's a little piece of wood grain paper up under there. There you go. And then it's just a little box. I don't even have a cookie or anything to put in it, but it is a food safe box. So if I wanted to, I could put a cookie in it. Now look at theirs. I came close, but you know, I, I was duplicating what I saw and you see how they cut the little, um, they punched with this little guy, they punched the strawberries out and then made them uh, like that. They stamped and punched. All right, this one's called In Bloom. Again, we have the dies and we have the stamps and it's $48.50. So all you gotta do is just add, um, add maybe some adhesive or something. And there you go. You can have something from Celebration for free. Okay, who has a Baby Shark fan? I'm not gonna sing the song, but the lyrics are right here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, here I go. Baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark. Do, do. Okay, and then it goes to mommy shark, daddy shark, grandpa shark, grandma shark, and you got a little hat. You got the sharks, all the different sharks. You got a little mustache for the daddy shark or the grandpa, and grandpa's got a cane in here somewhere. I thought, yeah, the cane is over here in the dies. Little cane and little hat, and mama has a, a hat, and there's a little purse in here somewhere. So stinking cute. So stinking cute. Okay, and then we have alligators. So um, this is super cute. It's a great, great set for kids. Your own kids, your grandkids, however it works out. Ice cream corner. These little um, embellishments here. I've shown y'all these before, but now that I can open the thing, I'm going to show you. I did not buy the whole suite, but I did get the punch for the ice cream and the um, cone. This ice cream right here could be a bear or a mouse, like a Mickey Mouse right here. And then that could be like a party hat. There's a lot of uses for that. And this is the little, the cute little things that you can use for a shaker card or however you want to use them to put little sprinkles on your ice creams. So you see in here, that's called a shaker card. And we probably won't make any here. I say that now. We probably will now that I've said we won't. But shaker cards are, are not as hard as they sound like. This is a wonderful set. I've had a lot of fun with it. You can see posts on my Facebook page. This is the set. And uh, here we go. All right, so I used a mask. You see how they're standing together? All right, they're stamped like that because I stamped the girl in the middle first, and then I stamped her on a piece of post-it note, and her stickiness is right there. And I just put it over her like this, covered her up, and then I stamped her and I stamped her. And when I peeled it up, they're standing behind her. That's all you gotta do to use a mask. And really, a post-it note is sufficient, okay? Um, so we have this one, and we have this one, which I have not glued down. Now, what I did with her, I put, like, you can feel the dimension here. I stamped on some uh, designer series paper that you'll see in a few minutes. It's free uh, during celebration. Her skirt is also designer series paper, free during celebration. And then here's all three of them lined up. Aren't they cute? And I really like them because you can do different color skin tones. You can make them, you know, make them coordinate, however you want to do it. It's just a sweet little set that I really enjoy. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. You can just use the use part of them. Okay. Just stamp their the upper part of them was with their cute little hairdos. Now, that's that set. Oh dear, I left her. Look at that. She's just hanging around here by herself. Okay, then we've got the prettiest birthday. I love this because it's got this swaggy looking banner thing. Y'all, I love me a good banner. We put a trail back on our, the back acreage here. This 
Our home is called Six Little Lakers. Don't be impressed. It's just a redneck Riviera is what it is. We just really love it. But um, I wanted to put, you know, if you've ever been to the Renaissance Festival, you'll see these um, Renaissance-looking banners. They're big things. Anyway, that's what I wanted along the path. But it hadn't happened yet because I haven't made them yet. But I think of that when I see these because it's festive and it's pretty and I'd love to see it hanging from tree to tree. So that kind of thing really appeals to me. Okay, this is, I'm going to tell you something that I don't know if I'm supposed to tell it yet, but nobody's told me not to. So here we go. This Hey Birthday Chick, we are getting dyes to go with it. And there's extra dyes that there's no images for that is doggone so cute. Do y'all remember a stamp set called Hey Chick? It was a celebration stamp set, and I want to say it was like two years ago. Yeah, it's going to, that's going to be involved too. So I'll be showing you that as soon as I can. Woodland Wonder, now this is, um, you know, there's a, there's a trend coming back for the slimline cards, is what they're called, and they fit in like a business size envelope, okay? So this is kind of thinking about uh, along those lines, or you could, you know, do a card that folds out like this one does and reveals the rest of the little tree and the little animals. It's called Woodland Wonder. Chicken eating the, I love hay chick meat. Too. Those chickens. <laughs> yes, the chicken eating the cupcake is how I feel. Me too, me too. It's and then this one is more me trying to, you know, balance on that little toe. But anyway, <laughs> ah, okay, y'all, snail mail. Let me just say, when I first saw this, I loved it and I hated it. And now I just love it because I thought snails, ew, you know, I've never seen a snail that I thought that has got to be the cutest little snail I've ever seen. But then, y'all, the little envelopes that you can cut out. Look at these little things. You can cut those out with your with your dies. There's the die right there. See, they just show us that and make us want it more. And the little mailbox. And I mean, really and truly, this is one of the cutest things. And the whole suite, you get the stamp set, you get the dies, you get the uh, twine, some resin hearts, and designer series paper with little mushrooms. It's got a little 70s vibe to it, which I think is one reason I started liking it so much. And I've seen a lot of projects made with it. This little box here, I put a, a hole in the end of this one so you could just pull it, but this is new also. And that's what they've put candy in and then put, you know, uh, embellishment here and boom, you've got your little box. But like I said, I did do this. I just used a whole punch and punched out that and then put a ribbon through so it'd be like a drawer. Because I thought that would be so cute. Okay, this is the Handmade For You. And I'm going to demo some uh, something here tonight that will show you how to put on your labels. But I see I gotta speed things up if we're gonna get finished. Um, all right, so we're just gonna, we're gonna speed this up a little bit, okay? Here we go, Lacy Petals dies. Okay, the window set, I have to have this in order to live a normal life. And um, I have not ordered it yet, but I need it. Um, this Enjoy the Moment, Wonderful is You. This is May Your Comeback Be Bigger Than Your Setback. To someone as wonderful as you, I know this is a tough day. It's kind of an encouragement set. Here we go with Floating and Fluttering, the little butterflies, very pretty. You can get the bundle here, 10% off. I am having to speed up a little bit, so if you see something you want a little more information on, let me know. The baby pool toys, that is stinking adorable right there. It's just cute as it can be. I mean, look at that. Who does not love that? And I thought we were going to start selling chocolate bunnies, and I was a little disappointed, but here we go. This is all about babies and you could use it for Easter and cute little card like this using the double oval punch. The well suited. I did a whole thing on this. So y'all know that if you if if you want it, you need to get it because you never know if it's gonna be carried over and the way things are going now, you know, who knows? I mean we had a lot of things delayed because of shipping to 
stamping up and now those things are in so it's time to get them i did a whole thing on these oh and some people are using uh i think it's this die right here and they're making pants how cute ride the range very country got some barbed wire on here and a horseshoe and some haystacks and this is a cut above it's a father's day birthday for a guy kind of thing soar confidently with the uh the hot air balloon and the little biplane whatever it's called and i want to say dirigible and i know that's correct hindenburg that you know dirigible whatever it's called uh we're selling blending brushes now which are awesome you've seen me use them they're great and we have the uh treasures of life with the grandparent but i have a friend who just had a grandchild so i made a card like this for them and it's just the baby's hand, and it says, I love you, in the in the grandparents' hands, like that. Little weenie dogs, so cute. These dice right here, all they do is stitch around. They don't punch completely out. They don't cut completely out. They just stitch around. And it's really neat. It's very whimsical. I love it. Uh, we have a new punch here, Essential Tag Punch. We have Evergreen Forest Embossing Folder. And here's our Cut and Emboss. The mini stamp and cut and emboss machine is $60, and I'm telling you, it's worth it's worth all of it. You just, I mean, it's just so good to have. I keep mine right beside me. This will go a little faster. I know I'm going a little fast, y'all. Um, free designer series paper, and I've got that paper. I've got all the paper. This is that paper there, and... I'll see if I can show you real quick. Just kind of flip through a little bit. Okay, see? You know what? I think I can... Hold on. Okay. I think I can do it this way. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to kind of go through it because we need to... We need to go on if I'm going to make y'all a card tonight. Here we go. We get two sheets of every pattern. Now, this is the one I used to make the little girl's skirt that I showed you earlier. Look at that. Isn't that just fun? It is so much fun. And there we go with that one. Okay. Free, y'all. Free. And this is like, you know, usually our designer series paper is like, I'm wanting to say $12.50 a pack. The uh, Darling Donkeys, I've shown y'all that one. I've got him. Um, if you join, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Approaching Perfection, it's a birthday set. This ombre designer series paper is beautiful. And it's free with a $50 purchase. Here we go with a corner buff, uh, bouquet like this. Heal Your Heart. I did get this one because it's such pretty script there. Just beautiful. Okay, this paper here is this one. Okay. So... Here we go. Show you real quick. I, I really like this. Can you see the little blue dots in it? And um, the colors that you need to use with all of these is all written on the uh, description in the little catalog, the little celebration flyer. And it's also on the paper itself back here. Okay. Okay. That's how I do it. I just look and see what the, I don't even try to think about, you know, if I can figure it out. I just look at what they say. Love this, love this, and this is pretty. There's some purple there. This is very, um, looks like a field in fall. Okay, so there's that one. We have um, items that they suggest to go with it, such as this new punch called Label Me Fancy. Well, it's not new, it's in the, um, uh, it's in the annual catalog. They were my favorite. Touch of ink right here. Um, it's a double, it's a two, two stamp if you want to do that. You don't have to. And it just kind of, it's not perfect. If you look at the butterfly wings, it looks more artistic. You see how it's kind of off the wings a bit? It's supposed to be. Uh, the Berry Blessings. That is this set right here. I'll show you these real quick. I know we've seen them before. Some of y'all have seen them all. 
But um, you see, I've already been playing a good bit with them. There we go. And it's, it's all kinds of berries. We're using this paper tonight, this one. And this kind of looks like feathers, but I think they're leaves. Somebody online said, they made paper with feathers. They're so cute. And I'm like, they're not feathers. They're leaves. They're, they're, they're leaves. Leaves. Now, Berry Blessings is one of the stamp sets that you get in celebration for free. This one, as you see at the top up here, it says celebration. Okay. But guess what? There's also one called Sweet Strawberry. And it is in... I'm quite sure it's over here in the Occasions Catalog. Um, yes, Sweet Strawberry Bundle. That's where you get the strawberry and the punch. Um, then, okay, quick note, if you join, $99 to get $125 worth of goodies, your choice. You don't get celebration items, but you do get anything out of the Annual Catalog and out of the Occasions Catalog, the Mini Catalog, um, which was that first one I showed you that's new tonight. And then you also get all of this paper, designer series paper. There's six by six packs that you get. Okay. Whew. Now, I feel like I rushed a little bit, y'all. But I had to a little bit, didn't I, to get us all done. Now, here's my little basket of goodies. We're going to make us a card. First, I want to show y'all. I posted on my page about this, and I'll tell you about it. Um... I'm doing a card swap with a group. Long story, but anyway, had to make 25 unique cards, full cards. Usually a card swap is either going to be a full card or it's going to be just the front. So when you receive it, you can glue it on to another card. Now, the advantage to something like that is if you are a demonstrator, then all you got to do is... is put those cards on display and then you have a whole lot you have a whole lot of items there that you didn't have to purchase all the things but you've got a bunch of cards showing all the things because I sent off 25 and I will get 24 in return 24 different cards because the person organizing it keeps one okay all right so this is what I've set up for tonight and why is this sealed goodness gracious Okay, I have just cut this, cut these down to fit, all right? This is, y'all recognize this paper, and we're using Toppy Parade because it says to, but it got lost on there, so I put some black down, then the Poppy Parade, and then I'm going to put down my um, centerpiece here. Now, I have come up with a piece of uh, a pack of notebook paper that's probably back from when my kids were in school. I don't even know how long I've had this. Nyoka, I sent a picture. I can see you, but the word live covers it. Oh, cricket. Yes, yes, that's true. If you're watching me on your phone, um, that's true. All right, I'll put me down here. See what you think. See if this is any better, okay? Because Heather had the same problem the other day. I know that's better. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put um, this paper down because I don't want to see all the mess. Okay, so here we go. Oh, a couple of things. This is one of the little boxes. It's a die that, uh, that we use in the little um, embossing machines. And I used a, the punch to punch out this little strawberry. Isn't that just the cutest thing? You can put a little piece of candy in there or something. All right, so here we go. So like I said, it tells you to use Poppy Parade. And look. Oh, I just happen to have the same exact things. Uh, yes, that little box is so stinking cute. And here's one that's not been uh, adorned yet. But I loved the little paper there. So, okay. And then here are the little strawberries that you can, you know, stamp and punch. And just keep stamping and punching and boom, you've got yourself some strawberries. Aren't they cute? Okay. We're going to use, uh, not this yet. We are going to use... The Granny Apple Green. I'm not going to use that one yet. And the uh, Tuxedo Black. Okay. Now, if you if you remember, on this card here, look how it is 
I've, I've just used stamps. There's, there's nothing raised up in the corners. It's just stamps, okay? So um, that way you can see, hold on, there we go. You can see the technique I'm about to use. So this is going to be our feature thing here. And I'm going to find my stamps. Let's see. Okay, I have these two. Now, I was trying it with this one, but it was really too big for what I wanted to do. So I'm going to go into the Berry Blessing set for the leaves. And then I'm going to use the strawberries, the Sweet Strawberry set for the berries. So, okay, I'm just going to ink up my... my the one with lines on it, see? Okay, we're just gonna go like this. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit right here, okay? Because we want it to just kinda not look too planned, okay? So this one, I'm gonna go like this, and then like that, okay? And we're gonna come back with the green, this one here. This color is Granny Apple Green. This one here was just Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. Now the tricky thing here, this is the filler. This is where we're going to actually, uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Good heavens, to Murgatroyd. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda lay it on here. And because I'm not directly over it, it may not be perfect, y'all, it may not be. But it's doggone close. And then I'm just going to put this little bit right there. Okay, see? See where we're going? Uh-oh, we got a little poo-poo right there. But it's all right. It's all right. Okay. We're going to go like, like this. And then like that. Okay? So, boom. Oops. There we go, all right? So I'm just gonna clean these and close these up, this one up. Now, I'm going to use, I'm gonna make my strawberries. Now I'm a little anxious because um, I don't know how good this is gonna go, I don't. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, my little, my little, um, berry the little leaves right here they broke in half but it's okay i'm gonna put these down this is my um post-it note i know y'all this this was this was a hot mess but this is the way life is tonight this is the way life is that's a post-it note look i got boo boo there and there i don't know what happened all right and i'm going to use this stamp to do the seated part. Okay, and I'm gonna stamp over that. You see where we're going? Do you see? Okay, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna have to cover this before I do something crazy. Okay. Ooh, that was loud. I'm sorry. Oh okay, now we're going to do this part. We're still leaving that on there, but we're getting the poppy parade on here. Now you see this is called a distinctive stamp. You see where there's more ink in one area than another? Yeah, because you want this effect that has a little, you know, little light area. All right, again, I'm going to try and try and stamp over it. Oh, no, I'm off. I'm way off, but that's okay. Here we go. All right, but you see where I went off? Check this out. I also anticipated such a thing, so I got my Poppy Parade Stampin' Right marker, and I'm just gonna fill this in right here, and they're just gonna have to forgive that side. They just gonna have to forgive it. Okay, now we're gonna get, bum bum bum, my scary dental tool, and we are gonna peel this up. Oh, look, <gasps> look at this, it's magic. <laughs> Now this, typically I would keep my, my little masks, but this, mm -mm, no, he's too much trouble. He is too much trouble. All right, now let's do our little, our little, our little inky guys. Okay, we need black again. Oh, I thought I was done with the green. I thought I was done with the green. 
But no. Here we go. We're going to use the Granny Apple Green again. And we're going to use our black again. Here we go with the black. And I know we're close up. I know. I got to get up over it, y'all. Just excuse my head for just a minute. Oh, dear. Hold on. I'll show you in a second. Because this would really be messed up if I messed it up, right? Okay. That's done. Now we're going to fill it in with the green. And that's where I had my little mask. Took his whole head off. Hey, y'all. It turned out pretty good. How about that? Okay. Okay. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this because the stamp, I mean, the, the punch will also punch. Oops, I'm so sorry. I'm back to, oh dear. <laughs> okay, this will also punch the little top off, out. It has a little flower and a little leaf. Um, I had one of their little leaves. Yeah, here it is. Here's one of the little leaves that is punched and stamped. See? So, you know, you could you could put that on there. Whatever. Whatever you want to do. All right. I got about five minutes to finish this thing. And that's okay. We're doing good. We are doing good. Here we go. Um, I really did want to do an extra one, but that's okay. We won't do that tonight. I don't like to keep y'all too long. So, here we go. We're just going to put this on here. Even with the boo-boos. Now, typically, I would take out my little my little metal drawer here. I got a little thing over here with with um, my erasers and stuff like that. This is a, a mono sand eraser. And I can just erase that ink, you know. But I'm, I'm not going to take time to do it. I just want to show you what that was. All right. So, we are going to put some adhesive on him. Put it on him right there and right there uh oh extreme close <laughs> oh a new one i need one yes you do need one marilyn and yes it was way too close close up i know it could have been worse could have been worse trust me all right let me try this again this is the buddy brand here it's not stamping up it's just some i bought in a big pile, a big group or whatever. Now this one is actual Stampin' Up! that I bought as they were closing out all of the snail. Oh, get off my hand. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I know, you know what I say a lot because when I'm editing these things, put some embellies on the smudges. Yes! Loving the strawberry stamp. I do too. And Angela, imagine if we, if, if we were to cut out, um, a mask for the whole strawberry and stamp like three of them, like those three little girls were together. That would be so cute. But I didn't have time for that tonight. So we are going to, we're kind of mocking that uh, card that I did earlier that I've shown y'all a couple of times. I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the back. This is the cheater method, so you don't use up all your stuff. And you can go two times. Could probably have done it a little. There we go. Probably could have uh, made a longer piece and done three. I don't know. But we'll do that. And then we'll take another little piece. Come on now. I always pull the wrong string. There we go. But y'all know that is part of my life, right? Make a quick little bow here. Oh, and I got to tell y'all, Ninja Man is so sweet. Our dog Winston, Sir Winston Poops a Lot is his name. He cries every night. We don't know why. Are the flowers with the berries? Um, yes, yes. Um, yes, you can punch the flowers or you can stamp them. Um, there's little flowers here you can do. Um, then when you get into here, now these are different berries. These are like raspberries and these are like blueberries. Um, I know because we grow blueberries here and they're go I'm not gorgeous. Well, they are gorgeous, but I mean, they are delicious. Um, blueberries and then their little leaves. So the two different sets, uh, complement one another. Okay. So we're just going to put this on here. It's going to be kind of simple and 
Hang on for the for the grand finish, y'all. We're almost there. We are almost there. But okay, so Sir Winston poops a lot. He cries every single night. He's he's just so rotten. We've taken him to the vet and had him checked out, and nothing's wrong with that dog. It's all mental. So Ninja Man took him in the bedroom tonight because he cries. He cries. Right there. See cute little bow. Just a cute little ribbon. That's all you need. Just you don't want a big you don't want a big something on there. And you can pull it down this way to make it okay. Then we are gonna pop it up with dimensionals. These are the dimensionals I have. They came in a kit at some point. So we're just gonna put just a few. Um some people put a lot, but I mean, you know, this I don't think this is going into any kind of warfare. So, you know, five should hold it pretty well. And here we go. Okay, so we are going to put this on the black. Now, why black? Because I used black ink to make all the outlines, okay? And that just kind of, you know, brings that out, right? Right. Okay. And we're just going to, now you could use um, what I call snail, I call all of these snail adhesive, okay? But, okay, here's our little paper with the seeds, and we also had this one. That would be pretty that way, right? Okay, but I kind of want to use it this way tonight, because I did want to kind of feature those seeds a little bit. And then here's our card right here. And this is the heavier card stock, and we're just going to put it on like this. How about that? This one, I will use the liquid glue on here because when, you know, when you want it to be, you you got to kind of center it. Now, I was able to do that real easy with the other one, the previous layer. So, I just used the snail on it. But this right here, it gives you a little wiggle room as I've shown y'all in the past. So basically all I'm doing is looking at all the way around. We've got a little too close, oh dear. Here we go, oh dear, hold on. We're sliding around, there we go. Whoo, that was close. So here we go, and we'll put our little um, sentiment right there. Isn't that just a sweet little hello card? And you see the technique I used and how it, it reflects that other card I showed you because all I did was stamp. And on that other card, I just stamped a bunch of greenery. Let me go grab one. Hold on. I just stamped right here and then stamped here, okay? And that's exactly, it's the exact same technique with two so different finishes, right? Um, yeah, so this just is a clean, crisp card. I love it. Put some little, um, there's, a, there's a stamp that has all these little dots. And, you know, okay. Same exact technique. The difference is, is I added this and I popped this up, but for mailing, that other design is better. Um, I mean, this would mail fine. It really would. It really would. So there we go. I was going to try and make a second one tonight with this, and we just, I don't think we really have time, but let's just say Let's just say we're going to make this for somebody. I just realized I could have popped those on there, and here we have a card. Then, you know, it while it does have an envelope, um, you could, a lot of times, I've just punched a hole right here with your little hole punch and put a ribbon through it and hung something like this on the outside of a gift. I mean, that's just stinking cute, right? And let's see what else I got. I think that's everything, y'all. That is everything for tonight. That's it. So I hope y'all learned something new. I hope you enjoyed the um, the new catalogs tonight. And um, it's our first video of the new year. I hope everybody had a good, safe new year. Please stay healthy and well. And I appreciate y'all being here so much. Thank you so much. Um, the dots on the strawberry card would look nice and cover up. <gasps> Nyoka, yes. Yes, we could do the dots. Hang on, hang on. Like, Nyoka's talking about this card where the dots are. Yeah, I could do the dots on this. ka -ching. I think we will. I think we will. Marilyn says, perfect, thank you. Michelle says, so cute, thank you. Uh, Marilyn's cute as pie. 
And Angela's so lovely. Thank you. And thank y'all so much. Um, whoever it was I asked to send me a message about something, I told you I was going to forget. It's gone. Send me a note. Oh, it was for a link to the uh, catalogs. Okay? So, love you guys. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless. Toodles.